Inequalities, oh boy. We're gonna solve graph and write an interval notation. We're gonna do those three things. Solve, graph, write an interval notation. Okay, here we go. Where are we going? Um, To this one. These inequalities solved just like equalities except for one kind. This is not that kind. So I need to solve it. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, gets x by itself. Now I need to graph it. What's that? That's zero, people. That's zero. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that puts three right about there. Which way do I shade? Windows or walls? Yeah, there's literally a window right there. Um, um. The appropriate way is to plug a point in. Is zero bigger than three? No, zero isn't. So I'm gonna shade away from it. Is it going to be um, opened or closed? It's going to be open, open, open by the round bracket or parenthesis or brace. Mm. Let's embrace this next one. Remember these e inequalities solved just like those equalities. Okay, so then, except for one case, this is not it. One, two, three, not it. Yeah, subtract off that three from both sides. And then x is smaller than or equal to Wait for it. One. Fun. What's that? It's one, people. Come on. Zero's over here. Which way am I gonna shade? Windows or walls? Yeah. Um. I put a zero in there. Is zero smaller than one? Yes. So I shade towards zero. Is it gonna be opened or closed? Closed. Yes. Okay. Why? because of the or equals to. Wait a minute, so I'll graph right an interval notation. Yes, what's my leftest most point? Minus infinity, and my rightest most point? One, fun, close it there, open it there. All three of these would be your answers. Let's go back up here and put this one in interval notation. Yes, it'd be three, opened on three, to infinity, open on infinity. You're always gonna be open on infinity. And then all three of those are your answers. Let's go up here and put both of those together, the additive rule and the multiplicative rule. These inequalities solve just like the equalities except for one step or one kind. This is not that kind. Okay. Um, subtract off that 2, subtract off that 2, 3x is bigger than or equal to 6, finish him. I divide both sides by 3, tee hee, tee hee, yes, okay, divide, and on the right, you have 2, so now it's time to graph it, graph it. Um, can I show you a cheap and easy way? I thought you'd like that. Yeah, um, as long as the x is on the left, as long as the x is on the left, as long as the x is on the left, it goes the way the arrow's pointing. Yes, and the arrow's pointing towards the wall. Okay, little John. Let's put it in interval notation. Yes, closed on two. Why? Because the or equals two. And then it goes to infinity and beyond. Buzz. Okay. I said that these inequalities solve just like the equalities except for one case. This is that case. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. Yes. So I'm going to divide both sides by that minus 3. Divide that side by that minus 3. Are your spider senses tingling? Yes. Because whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. Uh-huh. 9 divided by a minus 3? A minus 3. Now, hey, watch out for this. This is a possible error point. You're going to be so excited that you remembered to flip the sign that you're gonna forget to negate the other side. Mm-hmm. Watch out now. Wait, wait a minute. You gotta watch out for your peeps. 
Yes. Okay, now I'm down here. Alrighty then. Wait for it. Wait for it. That way. Why? Because that's the way the air pointed. As long as the X is on the left. You're like this. Are you open or closed? Um, open, open, open. Can't even make any Mervin's jokes anymore. <laughs> They're out of business. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Minus three to infinity. And then what? Yeah. Perhaps you want to know why. Mm, you probably don't, so you should turn off the video at this point. Unless you want to know why, and I'm going to tell you up here. Why? Yes. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. And here's why. Okay, so then I'm not too sure what to do with that, so I'm going to subtract a 3x off each side. I mean add 3x on each side. Yes, why? Because I know my additive property works. So then I have 0 is smaller than 9 plus 3x. Okay, now I'm going to get that 9 over there because I'm trying to solve for my x and I just got a positive. Yes, so I subtract the 9, fine. Subtract the 9, fine. Now you get a minus 9 is smaller than 3x. Okay, I know my, um, I know I can divide both sides by 3. Yeah, so I divide this side by 3, and I divide that side by 3. Now I don't have to flip the sign there because it's not negative. Yeah, so then this is a minus 3. It's smaller than x. Now what do I want to do? I want to write an equivalent expression with x on the other side. So I have to flip everything. Flip everything. Yes. So the x is on the left. Ooh, remember that whole alligator thing? Alligator wants to eat big things. It doesn't know what X is. All it knows is that it's bigger than three. So the alligator still wants to eat X because he knows it's bigger. Nine inch nails with the teeth. Yes, then this is a minus three. Tee hee, tee hee. And we see that when we multiply or divide by a negative number, we have to flip the sign. And that's why it's the action of write an equivalent expression with x on the left.